Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you are new here, hello, welcome. And if you are back, welcome back. Today, I'm here with a sneak peek unboxing of a new release from Diamond Art Club. Thank you, Diamond Art Club, for sending this over for me to share with you guys ahead of tomorrow's release. You guys, we have more Marvel kits coming from Diamond Art Club, and uh, I am beyond stoked because we finally have tons of female representation in this round of releases. And that includes this amazing kit, which is the one and only Black Widow, of course course classic black widow one of the original avengers at least in the mcu and i'm here for it so the name of this particular kit is um red in my ledger 55.8 by 70.6 centimeters or 22 by 28 inches it's gonna have round shaped diamonds and you guys i'm so stoked for this marvel release this kit along with the other uh new releases which are marvel releases this is part of a special midweek release they're coming out tomorrow which is wednesday june 28th and i believe for these releases that there's just one release time for everybody and it's at 9 30 a.m pacific or 12 30 p.m east Eastern. I don't believe that there is an early access window for Diamond or Ruby tier rewards members, but be sure to check out Diamond Art Club's preview postings that'll be going up today, which is Tuesday. Uh, that'll have all of the details about the release and I'll also add them in the description box in case anything changes from what I've just told you. Anyway, let's get into this kit. So on the box itself, we have some really fun special branding that is specific to Marvel, including the Avengers. You guys, these kits are fully legally licensed, and we have uh, just these amazing, amazing characters from this IP. We finally get some Marvel licensed kits from Diamond Art Club, and um, here on the back, we have some information about how to diamond paint, your kit contents. Uh, there's not a QR code with a discount code on the sides of these boxes. Oh, there's the... It's, a, it's the full diamond coverage area. The whole canvas is gonna be diamonds, 62 colors, including three ABs and a fairy dust, 50,000 diamonds in total. Let's get into it. Now, if you are brand new to Diamond Art Club and looking to save a little bit on your first purchase, you're welcome to use my discount code, which is just my name, Katie, K-A-T-I-E, and the number 20. That'll save you 20% off your very first purchase. Please don't feel obligated though. It is an affiliate code, so I may make a small commission. Thank you, thank you, thank you if you do. All I say though is even if you don't use that one, find a code to use. There's You're gonna see a few others in this unboxing video and uh, take advantage so that you can save a little bit on your purchase. So <laughs> let me show you what all's been included here. So you're gonna have a toolkit that's gonna have everything you need to, need to do your diamond painting in it. The contents you'll see written out for you here. Uh, diamond Art Club's toolkits are all the same with the exception of their square drill diamond painting kits come with tweezers whereas their round drill diamond painting kits do not come with tweezers, just FYI. Otherwise, they're identical though. Well, mostly, I'll, <laughs> I'll explain. So first, you are gonna get a pen and squishy. The color on those both will vary. You're gonna get a couple of thin plastic multi-placers if you wanna try placing more than one diamond at a time. They're the thinner ones as well, which is nice. You are going to get um, a little caddy that has some wax in it. There is a thin plastic film that covers up that wax, so be sure to peel that back before you try to load up your pen. And then we also have a tray that comes with not a broken off piece or anything. That's actually a tray stopper you can pop in there to help stop the diamonds from sliding out. You'll get a bag of baggies if you wanna store your leftover diamonds in those or kit up into them, you can. And then finally, these will vary. You should get one of each style of item here in your diamond painting kit. This is a roll of washi tape. The print will vary, uh, but you should get a roll of washi tape as long as it's one of these newer diamond painting toolkits. And uh, I like to use washi tape to section off my canvas and to go around the edges of the drill field. Let's cover up any glue that goes past the edge of the drill field, prevent dirt or dust from getting in there. This is a cover minder. The style that you get will vary. This is like a cute little French macaron and <laughs> there's magnets on the back. You can take one off, put it under the area of the canvas you're working on, set it back down, peel back the plastic cover, set that on top and it will hold back the plastic cover and look super adorable. So uh, lots of good stuff in those toolkits. Everything you need and then some. <laughs> also included with your kit is gonna be this smaller logbook sticker. This one got a little bit folded. Not a huge deal, looks like it's still plenty sticky. I like using this in my paper logbook once I've started a kit because it has a lot of the stats, it has the original artwork. And um, you can use this on the side of your box too if you'd rather organize your stash with it or find something else artsy to do with it. I still love seeing the Marvel branding on, on these kits. It's so much fun. Everything else is gonna be included here in this branded plastic cover. 
Um, now, if you were around for the original Marvel release back in, I think the beginning of April, um, you would have heard me talk about how I was hosting an event called Marvelous May last month. And maybe we'll have to do it again because we're gonna have even more Marvel kits to enjoy, including this beauty. Look at her red hair. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. This looks amazing, oh my gosh. Okay, so we have our bag of diamonds. We'll look at these more closely in just a little bit. The camera wants to focus on Black Widow's face. Uh, also included though, you're gonna get this pamphlet with some helpful info. There's a thank you note from the founder on the front. Some info about what's included in your kit. A beginner video. I also have a beginner video that I'll have linked below. And a link to their Facebook group, the VIP Facebook group, which you'll get a link to join once you've made your first purchase. I highly recommend joining it because it's a really handy community and fun community to be a part of. You're also gonna get some info about step-by-step -step instructions written out and some tips and tricks. Here's another discount code. <laughs> and here are some QR codes that'll take you to the mobile app on your iPhone or Android. And uh, it's handy for signing up for push notifications and stuff like that. You do get 20% off your first purchase through the app as well. You're gonna get a larger sticker sheet that's gonna have the original artwork, amazing. <laughs> a spot to write your start and end date, and of course, the title, Red in My Ledger by Marvel slash Black Widow. And then here's the stats again written out for you, and then over here we have a set of pre-cut sticker labels. So if you'd like to take the diamonds, which are in heat sealed baggies, you'll have to cut them open to get to them. I put mine in uh, plastic like bead storage containers. Um, I will then put the stickers on the containers just to help with the process of kitting up my diamonds and getting ready to diamond paint. And then when I go to look for a symbol, it makes that whole process super easy. The color code system you see over here is the DMC color code system, which most diamond painting companies use. The exception is with Diamond Art Club, any number under the one number 150 is gonna be a special kind of diamond called an AB. We're gonna have three of those in this kit. We're also gonna have a special diamond here. You can see number 62 is Z775. That's gonna be that fairy dust color that they mentioned on the outside of the box. 62 colors in total. The symbols all look like pretty distinct. You're not gonna mix any of them up. Let's go on a little tour of this canvas now, shall we? So <laughs> up at the top, we have their branding, Do It Makes You Sparkle, Diamond Art Club. The edges of the canvas are scalloped and finished. You're not gonna have to worry about any fraying. The canvas backing is super plush and soft. Uh, it's really enjoyable to work on because it's sturdy and malleable. It's a nice weight. It holds the diamonds really well. This clear plastic cover is a really quick and easy way to tell that a company is using poured glue on their canvases, which Diamond Art Club is super sticky. You can see the glue actually has a little bit of a, a glittery sheen to it too, which is just makes your whole experience sparkly. <laughs> you're gonna have a legend over here at the top left. You're gonna have that same legend over here on the bottom right. Then at the bottom left, we're gonna have the title of the original artwork, the thumbnail, the size here, and then of course, copyright. Uh, this is important. There's a little fold here. It got a little crease when it was in transit. Not a huge deal. Diamond Art Club's canvases are self-flattening and the material holds up really well. So I'm not too too bothered about that, um, but just wanted to mention it because obviously you're seeing it. <laughs> so copyright Marvel Black Widow Diamond Art Club. This is really important because especially these really popular and well-known IPs or intellectual properties like Marvel are very commonly stolen. Um, you'll, you'll see it a lot, unfortunately. But Diamond Art Club has done everything completely above board. They have legally licensed this artwork from Marvel. They have a licensing agreement with Marvel, and this is all completely above board. And I'm totally gonna shout that out and make sure you guys know that this is all ethical. Like you can feel good about buying Marvel kits from Diamond Art Club knowing that everything's been done above board. Uh, so here we've got links to their socials. Be sure to follow them for previews for new releases and whatnot. Here's another discount code. And then info about their lifetime warranty. If you happen to run out of any drill colors or have any issues with the glue or the canvas, anything at all, as long as you're the original owner and purchaser of the kit, you're covered under that lifetime warranty and you can just contact Diamond Art Club's customer service. They'll get you taken care of. And I've found that there's virtually always someone <laughs> like available and answering emails. It can be like two o'clock in the morning. Don't ask me why I'm up till two o'clock in the morning. I'm a night owl. Uh, and I might realize like I'm diamond painting and run out of a color. It's happened once or twice. And the probably nearly a hundred Diamond Art Club canvases I've completed at this point. It's just happened a couple of times. 
And I emailed them and I got an email back within minutes saying, okay, they're on the way. Replacements are on the way. So you can see the drill field is printed really clearly. And we're actually gonna have a decent amount of color blocking in this kit. You guys, color blocking is when you have a kind of larger sections of the same color in a small area like right here. Um, these lines of this number three and a lot of this kind of like linear color blocking. Uh, that Those areas tend to go a little bit quicker because you can use your multi-placer. You'll have that color in your tray for longer and it's just nice, they go a little bit faster. We do have some areas of confetti as well. I suppose like her eyes might be a good example. Maybe some of the detail like in her hair down here. Um, confetti is when you have a lot of color changes in a small area, you'll be using primarily your single placer and changing out the color in your tray a bit more often. I like to have a mix of both in my diamond paintings because the confetti keeps it interesting. You get that like payoff of the detail and whatnot, but color blocking keeps it moving. So <laughs> let's, ooh, let's do a quick measurement on this, by the way. You can see all of her in frame, albeit sideways. So we should be at, well, let me just, let's measure it first. And I'll, then I'll double check it with the listed dimensions. Uh, so we are at about 70 and a half centimeters and we're listed as 70.6. Okay, <laughs> gonna call that good, but let's check this way too. 55 and a half centimeters and we're listed as 55.8. I'm gonna call that true to size. So not shocking, Diamond Art Clubs can, this is usually our true to size, but I always like to double check. Let's take a look at these diamonds. So here's our pack of diamonds again. This is, I'm gonna have to fight my camera to focus on the diamonds and not on her face, aren't I? Uh, let's, let's see. By the way, uh, the pack of diamonds here does have a sticker on it that tells you the title of the kit that these go with. So if you store these separate from the canvas outside of the box they came in, it'll be easy enough to match them up again later. So here is our strand of diamonds here love the colors let's take a look so we have these browns now diamond art club manufactures all of their diamonds in house both their round and their squares but hold that thought because first i have to tell you about our first special diamond our special diamond color that's in this kit so 141 this is one of our ab diamonds now ab stands for aurora borealis and these are named after the northern lights just like the northern lights have an amazing color shift and shimmery effect so too does the coating on the tops of these diamonds the areas that they are charted tend to really draw your eye to them and highlight those areas beautifully. I love this white AB. You'll see it in a lot of Diamond Art Club kits because it's such a good neutral and a good standby. So we will take a look at where each of the special diamonds are gonna go on the canvas once we're done looking at all the colors. But we do have two nice big bags of 141. So yes, Diamond Art Club makes all their diamonds in house and their resin, their rounds and their square drills are made of resin. Their round drills are very faceted, very, very, very sparkly. You can see it best with these darker colors where it just, the facets catch the light like crazy. It looks so good. <laughs> Here's our second AB color, 120. It's a nice blue color. Really gorgeous coating on that one. Look at that vibrant red. I was gonna say, of course we have to have some amazing reds in this kit. Some purples and a blue. The Diamond Arclo puts their diamonds in strands in order roughly by weight. Sometimes you'll have some straggler or out of place packs of diamonds, but for the most part, they are in order by weight. So if you like to kit up, and depending on your storage situation, you may find that actually to be really helpful. You guys, here is one of our other special diamond colors, Z775. If you take a look, these diamonds actually have a gorgeous glittery coating on the top. It's a more subtle effect than the AB diamonds are for sure, but I love fairy dust diamonds. You can see that's like someone just brushed glitter powder on the tops of these diamonds and they're gorgeous and glorious. So uh, they'll definitely have more shimmer and sparkle than the ABs or the regular diamonds do, but they're not gonna be quite as bold as ABs. But I like that color. Some pretty pinks and aquas here. So yeah, this kit has 62 colors in total, which is why you're seeing actually a lot of these strands that have smaller amounts of diamonds in them because it's not that large of a canvas, really, to have this many colors. 
But I think that's gonna mean that we get lots of nice detail. I'm not mad. Okay, I wanna make sure. Is it in this last little straggler strand? It is, I was gonna say, I know we have one more AB. So we have this little strand that has just four colors in it, including our third and final AB, 107. It's a nice cherry red AB. You can actually see that there's, every once in a while you'll see ones where they accidentally put the AB coating on the, it hits the bottom instead of the top of the diamond. That's what's happening there. Uh, but I love that red AB. I'm glad we get a red AB in this, in this particular kit. Love it. Okay, let's take a quick look and find out where those different colors are gonna go. Let's start at the bottom. So we've got the, the white AB, the blue AB, and the red AB. And then we have the, the pale blue fairy dust diamond color. Uh, so there's a lot going on here, you guys. Let me, let me there we go. Okay, so uh, the circles, the white that you see over here, and the white going up here and along here, that's all white AB. You know what, I th oh no, never mind. I was gonna say, are all of the white colors you see gonna be ABs? Almost, but not all. <laughs> so anyway, lots of white ABs here. There's kind of a medium blue color going through here and this outline, this blue outline around here of her weapons and her arm and or her hand and wrist here. Uh, this is the blue AB. The blue AB comes down and outlines along the, the top of her leg here. There's some white AB along here as well. Uh, this lighter blue color right here, this is our fairy dust color over here blue AB along this thigh, white ABs here and here. And then checking to see a little bit of blue AB right here. And if you come over to this side, this really pretty light effect has a bunch of the white AB all through it. And then if we come up to her hand here, her hand and then going up her arm all the way up to here is the blue AB. Then the lighter blue color you see going around her hand here is the fairy dust, the light blue fairy dust. There's some light blue fairy dust in here as well as some white ABs and the white you're seeing right here as well as her weapon here. There's an outline of blue ABs around the white ABs in her weapon and a line of fairy dust, the light blue fairy dust. So those are going to glow. Those are gonna absolutely glow. Hopping back over to this side, um, here in her armor along uh, on, on her arm, we have white ABs in here. Uh, we have, make sure I'm not overlooking the red AB. I haven't seen any of the red AB just yet. White AB is coming up along here. And blue AB is coming along here, outlining her body. And then here we have red ABs. This bright red color you see is the red AB on both sides. White ABs here doing some highlighting on her armor. Over here too. Gosh, there's so many. There's so many special drills in this kit. White ABs along this arm. White ABs in this A, the Avengers insignia on her shoulder. White ABs here. Blue ABs here. White ABs here. <laughs> I'm sure I'm missing some, but you get the idea, right? In her hair, we have red ABs. It's this, this middle red color is the red AB, highlighting all through her hair, both sides. There is an outline of blue ABs around her head up to here, and it's like a regular blue color over here. The white over here is a white AB. Let me see. Ooh, and then this behind her, chock full of red ABs. Absolutely chock full of red ABs. Coming over here to this target symbol, the blue lines you're seeing, a little bit of glare, all of the blue lines you're seeing here, virtually all of that, is the blue AB. And then all of the white you're seeing in this whole area, any white you're seeing is the white AB. Then we have a couple double, a double ring of blue ABs here, and then some lines coming out from it that are blue ABs as well. Do we have any fairy dust in there? Not that I see. Dang that AB placement though. <laughs> That's gonna be stunning. Absolutely stunning. We have that those two huge bags of white ABs. We've got that nice big bag of blue and red ABs. And then we have that light blue fairy dust color. So the ABs are the stars of the show here though. This looks absolutely amazing. So hopefully this gives you a really good sense of what this kit is gonna be like to work on. And that is, amazing you guys i'm stoked that for this marvel release we have tons tons of 
these female superheroes <laughs> and um, villains even. So I, I, I know that people are really, really looking forward to having some of these classic female characters. And I cannot wait for you guys to see some of the other kits that are coming out. So um, this though is the one and only Black Widow. This is red in my ledger. It's from Diamond Art Club and it has um, round diamonds, 62 colors with those four different special drill colors we talked about. Super nice size to work at pretty you know decently beginner friendly i feel like especially with the amount of color blocking we've got going on and this along with the other new marvel releases are coming out tomorrow wednesday june 28th at 9 30 a.m pacific 12 30 p.m eastern be sure to set your alarms we don't necessarily know if kits will be restocked or discontinued if they sell out so um be sure that you are there and ready to shop if this one's on your list so let me know what you think um i think she looks amazing and if you love this character this probably needs to be a must-have for you so thank you guys for watching i hope this helped you make your decision about shopping for tomorrow best of luck to you if you are thanks again to diamond art club for sending this over i loved getting to share this with you guys and uh would love to have you as part of my community here if you want to subscribe and stay up to date with my diamond painting content and otherwise have an amazing rest of your day and i will chat with you in the next one Bye.